Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, this is my first video to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm working on other content, but this is something that um, I've wanted to demonstrate uh, because it's not out there. Um, but it is out there by the company, but not um, you know, a lot of videos actually explaining how it's used, how it's run, um, how to you know do things on it on an everyday basis. Um, so this video uh, is going to give you a little bit of glimpse of the, um, it's called the Ansel um, cloud system. So uh, my website uh, is actually here. So if you're, uh, if you're listening to me and you want to go to the website, uh, go ahead and actually um, check me out. A um, little information about me. Uh, you can just run through the site. Uh, there's actually a store, some of my books, some of my services. But the really cool thing about this um, is this is actually running on my virtual server um, that I run here in my house connected uh, through my ISP. Here is, oh. is Speedy uh, just for my um, server infrastructure. So um, here is the... Um, Ansel website. Uh, you can go here, you can purchase it. Um, but what this is, is pretty much, um, you'll see here in a little bit, uh, this little box right here can run up to a hundred virtual servers or more. Um, it just depends on how you use those virtual servers. So if you're making tons of web servers for clients, uh, for other people, tons of maybe databases, databases can get kind of big. Um, I mean, even websites can get really big, but there's, there's a smaller footprint um, for the actual servers. Uh, and since um, the thing that we run, the thing that we love the most is Linux. So if you haven't heard of Linux, um, I'll do a couple of videos of um, Linux later. Um, what I'm going to do here is just create a basic um, virtual machine. And I'm going to start it up and show you, you know, how you would actually get into it uh, and do things. Um, so this is just going to be kind of a quick rundown, but I wanted to take you to the site. Um, real quick, we can actually build one out so you can kind of see where the prices go uh, for this system. Ah, no. Stop bugging me. Stop bugging me. Okay. So yeah, their, their site is a little sluggish. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, but there's three different models that you can get. Um, there's the basic one, and then you have Pro, and then you have Ultra, which actually just came out. Um, so Ultra is, is fairly new, but what happens is you can actually see the there's a core difference um, with the basic. So basic, you get four cores, which if you're doing basic stuff, it's fine, but if you're gonna do something that is enterprise level, you might want to step it up to the pro to get your eight cores. Uh, that's just so your virtual machines can have um, really dedicated cores. Um, it's interesting how this thing actually actually works because you can um, use cores and share cores. So it's kind of a share core processing system for these virtual servers. Um, so let's go ahead and select the basic option. Um, this is the option that uh, I picked for the two Ansels um, that I own. It's 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 a it's a great starting point. Um, of course, you can select the color. Um, gold. I have black and I have red, but I don't have gold. Uh, but I don't know if I'll need gold unless I pick up more clients that I build websites and applications for. Um, you have your RAM option. You have eight to sixteen. Um, you can't go any higher unless you go to the pro, uh, then you have up to 64. Um, SSD, you can go to 500, that's the highest you can go, and that's even the highest you can go in the other box. This is a small box here, um, and they're using, um, I want to say, SATA, um, uh, I can't remember the model right off the top of my head, but there's a certain model. Um, that they use, so they're they're kind of laptop sized drives, um, but you do have the option to actually get it a um, a hard drive, and you can get two terabytes. The only problem with that is this is supposed to be um, a zero 
sounding system is supposed to be completely quiet there's fans in it but you're not even even able to hear the fans it's so quiet you can hear crickets in the room literally even when this thing gets ex even when it gets hot the thing is made out of a heat sink so that's how it dissipates the heat so the little tiny fan that it has in there you're not even able to hear because this uh, wall of this metal here they build the case with is so thick um, so if you get a hard drive you're gonna hear that spin uh, for that hard drive which if if you need the extra space uh, especially if you're running uh, databases or if you need if you just need the extra space outside of the 500 um, gig drives that you can actually get so here's the gold uh, again they have the black so it just gives you a couple of um, images of, of what it looks like this is what it looks like inside Samsung was the name of those hard drives um, but this you can kinda see the size so it's not much room um, the hard drives that they put in here they're gonna be the same size um, laptop type drives it will not be full-size hard drives so this is kind of um, how you can build it out uh, 699 but you can always um, chat with them Sometimes they give you a discount code. I picked mine up around the Christmas time, and it was kind of a random thing that you went to, and you can get up to, I think it was $150 off. I got up to $150 off for one of the servers. Um, so it was fairly cheap. It was like buying a lower end laptop when you get the basic, um, and you build out with the basic specs. Um, my second one, I, I, I gave it a little bit more beef. Um, but still, if you're if you're looking to pick up clients or build your own server or not pay, um, you know these other companies to host your website, um, you know there's a lot of things of of you know Amazon went down a couple of weeks ago, so there's a lot of different um, issues surrounding having your stuff uh, in someone else's data center. Uh, because the only thing it is is they have a server it may not look like this but it's the exact same server and you're paying for them to for you to put your code there and it may not even be secure enough uh, to keep things out or to prevent um... alright guys um, sorry for this part of the video uh, as soon as my recording stuff comes in um, I can actually do a little bit better uh, job of connecting all the information and the cameras and the cables to my laptop and everything kind of syncs together. So today we're going to be uh, looking at Ansel, which I did the presentation here at the beginning of the, of the video. Um, this is a virtual uh, server that is for your home use. So if you wanted to have your own server for all you techies out there um, and you want to actually virtualize servers Ansel is the way to go. Ansel is probably the cheapest solution um, instead of going out and actually buying a server, um, buying all the high-end pieces, uh, RAM, hard drive, uh, things like that in it. So this Ansel right here, uh, it's a pretty simple box uh, that you actually get. You can get it in various colors. You can get it in red, black, gold, uh, and I think they're coming out with other colors. So this Ansel is equipped with two uh, 500 gig SSD drives. Um, it has 16 gigs of um, ECC memory. So this is uh, just error checking RAM. So it's a server grade RAM that's actually in here. So a lot of server faults, memory issues, um, you won't get with this RAM because it's been certified and tested to ensure there's no bad um, sections or um, ROM locations inside of this RAM or RAM locations inside of here. So here uh, is the Ansel. Uh, the Ansel right now is currently running. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but if this was a conventional server, you would hear fans just blowing, just, just, just blowing you away. It's like really loud fans. So this answer right here, uh, since it does have a solid state drive in it, that's why I'm able to move it around um, and not actually hurt what's running on this thing. So if you look at the back of this, you have a couple of Peru, uh, this server right here. Um, and as you can see, um, there's not really much running on this guy right here. Um, 
but uh, you can install things on here uh, pretty much anything that you want to get um, so we'll we could do something like um, let's see so it can actually get out to the internet um, this is all terminal based so you know if you're a Linux person uh, this would be perfect for you uh, you can do Windows uh, virtual machines but they you know of course they're Windows so they're gonna take up a lot of extra space but if you're creating web servers um, this will be a really good um, way to you know either learn or set things up for the clients that you actually have so this is just a quick rundown of you know this is what happens when you log into the thing this is what it created it created it in seconds um, I'll probably do another video explaining um, things that you could actually do with your Linux um, Ansel uh, you can put in the comments below if you're interested in something like that and we can definitely make it happen but uh, until then I will see you in the next video